The Milky Way can provide uh, unique information about the history of the universe um, because some of the stars that we find in the Milky Way actually formed very early on and they are basically as old as the universe itself. So by studying those stars, we actually learn about the properties of the universe then because they retain, for example, in their atmospheres, they retain the imprints of the interstellar medium from which they formed. And so we can tell what were the physical conditions then by looking at stars that are very nearby to us. And then on top of that, in the way they move, they actually tell us also about their origin. And if they came, for example, on board uh, different galaxies that merge together, then we should be able to retrace that history with time. And so in that way, we get uh, a picture of how the Milky Way was built through time and therefore a part of the universe itself. Understanding the nature of dark matter is one of the uh, biggest questions in physics and in astrophysics because uh, we know it exists because uh, of the way stars move through the universe, galaxies move through the universe. We know there's more mass than what we can see from the light these stars emit. Um, and there's actually five times more mass than the matter that we are made of or that we know of. So this, it's really a very big uh, question in astrophysics. And um, what we can do to understand what the nature of dark matter is, is look at how stars move, uh, especially in the regions where we don't have a lot of stars. So for example, in the halos of galaxies, those are the regions that are most dark matter dominated. And to study how they move, we need to be able to measure their motions, uh, their directions, and their velocities through space. And this is actually one of the things that Gaia will do in the coming years. So this is a new satellite recently launched by ESA. And with the very accurate motions that uh, Gaia will measure, we should be able to constrain how this dark matter is distributed in the Milky Way as a function of distance, say, from the center, but also what's the shape, and also uh, possibly um, to constrain how, uh, how much mass there really is out there. And perhaps even say if, uh, you know, there might be indications that this dark matter is, has clumps in it, and if it has clumps, that, that pinpoints to a specific type of dark matter. And that is ultimately what we're after, trying to really understand the true nature of dark matter. Gaia is really going to be a revolutionary for the Milky Way. And um, the reason for this is that basically, um, if you think about it, stars are basically fossils uh, that retain the archaeological imprint of where they formed and in which environment and under what conditions. And one of the uh, predictions of the cosmological model is that galaxies built through mergers, so via the assembly of many small different objects. And the idea is to try to figure that out with a Gaia data set. And this will be possible thanks to the measurements of the motions and the locations of uh, uh, millions of stars in the Milky Way. So we're hoping to reconstruct what would be the genealogy tree of the galaxy that way.